Hello everyone and welcome to the vlog. Whoa. <coughs> <coughs> What's wrong with my voice? Say hi to everyone. <laughs> so I'm over here about to get started editing, and then Brian and Kayleen are gonna be coming over. Is Jude coming with them? I think he is because we're doing our family photo. Um and we're gonna have leftover Thanksgiving for lunch. And Matthew is gonna be going to lunch after the family photo. He's gonna be going to lunch with Josh and Caleb because he hasn't seen them in forever. And this evening, super sad moment y'all, we're gonna be leaving. I'm really sad. We're gonna be driving just a little bit. Um, where are we going, Matthew? Like just outside of Atlanta? Something like that. Yeah, um, just like three-ish hours. Um, just to get kind of a head start. And um, yeah, uh, that way tomorrow we won't have a super long drive. McKinnon, you can't eat that. Matthew, you she's eat about to eat a Reese's. Can't she have it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Cheese. There they are. Dude, I can't see you. Cheese. There we go. <laughs> Bye. McKinnon. <Cheers. laughs> They're so cute. Oh my goodness. Can I see? Oh, now Scarlett's in the photo. <laughs> Give her some more. Mm. You want to eat it by yourself? 
There you go. I'm about to have some pumpkin pie. We've already said bye to everyone. McKenna and I are actually here by ourselves right now with Scarlett. She's around here somewhere because um, Megan has a basketball game. So um, they are gone to that. And Matthew is gone having lunch with Caleb and Josh. So it's just me and McKinnon here. And then after she finishes lunch, she's being so loud. We are gonna start like doing packing and stuff. Just slowly getting packed up. Keep going. It's okay. It's just Scarlet. You got it. Oh, you lost the sock. <laughs> Good job! You did that all by yourself! <laughs> Hi, McKinnon! <laughs> so, we officially got everything packed up and I'm out of focus. There it goes. <laughs> Matthew is getting stuff in the car right now and I keep going out of focus. Um, and me and McKinnon are in here hanging out. Someone has to watch me get in like super close. Now. Yeah, because she darts up the stairs or she goes out the little gate over here and gets into the dog food or the dog water. Yeah, out the front door. So <laughs> Matthew's putting all this stuff in the car and I'm sitting here trying to keep her from doing any of that stuff. <laughs> so she's brushing her hair right now. Your stair blockade's about to be missing. So just Uh-oh. <laughs> so, we have finally made it to our hotel. And it is now 10, 10 something? It's 10.50. 10.50. What hotel are we in? Not the one that we had a reservation at. You tell the story, I'm gonna set up for bed. So, we get to our hotel, which is, was a quality inn, which, quality in it's part of the Cho choice hotels brand and it was I mean somewhat sketchy exterior doors that kind of thing but that's she okay. wants to be on camera hi buddy <laughs> what oh she loves her dad you just want her up snot on me McKinnon look it's us <gasps> say hi us so anyway so get checked in we go park I find the room it's on the second floor stairs access only so like it's acceptable. I can deal. Because I'm not much of a fancy hotel person. Like, it's nice, but I don't like spending the money. I go upstairs and try the card. Red light. Thought I did it too slow, too fast. I'm not very good at door card swiping things. So I tried it multiple times, kept getting red, and I'm like, what the heck? So I just tried it a bunch of times in a row, and then I hear through the door, wrong room. Apparently somebody was already in our room that they assigned us. And when I went back downstairs and said, uh, there's a human occupying my room. Hey, buddy. <gasps> they said, oh, I'm really sorry. I don't know why there's somebody in there. I'm like, aren't you a hotel? Shouldn't you know where people are and what's open and clean? So that was red flag number one. Before she told me um, that I told her there was somebody in the room, she was dealing with another person who was having issues with the door lock on their room, and she was just telling them, like, you had to push the door a certain way for it to unlock or lock. Which is really not great, because if your lock system doesn't work, you can't get in or out of your hotel room correctly, it's a big deal. So anyway, we get assigned another room on the other side of the building, so we drive around the outside of the building where there's no parking, because they've got big construction trucks over there for some reason, like tree trimming trucks. And I go over and I try the key card on the door, red, okay, red, 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 still over and over. So I knocked, assuming that somebody else would be in there, may, might let me in, let us just crash on their couch, no go. I call the front desk because I had the phone number. Um, and they said, they told me to try pushing and pulling the door. I tried everything. I pushed the door, pulled the door, kicked the door, shook the door. <laughs> and 
to no avail. So then she's like, okay, well, let me come over with the master key. So she comes over the master key, gets me in, no problem. I said, okay, well, then I guess like maybe I just need another key card. And she said, oh, I don't think it's the key card. So okay, can I can I get another key card or well you you don't need a new key card. okay? Then how am I going to get in and out of my room? Well, I I opened it. I'm like okay, but I need to get back into my room later because like I got to go in and out. I got to get stuff. I'm gonna have breakfast in the morning, which means that we're gonna be locked out of our room again, and we're gonna have to say, excuse me, can you come please open the room that we're paying for? So then little baby so then I said okay well we can either do another key card which you're saying is not an option or another room which she kept telling me was they're completely booked I said okay there's absolutely no rooms no rooms and I can't get a key card no so I can't open this door and she didn't tell me no but and she's just staring at herself in that mirror so funny so then I said okay if I can't do any of that, then I need to cancel, get a refund, I'm, I'm done, I'm going somewhere else because I just want to go to sleep. Because it's 10 o'clock, I've been driving for hours, I just, I was kind of over it. So we were running around the corner and now we're at a La Quinta Inn, paying way too much money. But we're in a nice room, we're going to go to sleep, it's going to be wonderful, there'll be great breakfast. I know that I'm safe here. It's just such a weird experience. What do you think about it, McKinnon? <laughs> oh, gosh. You don't need to poke them. So anyway, we're going to get wound up, wound down. I'm going to go get some tea. They've got free tea and coffee 24-7 downstairs, which is wonderful. And I'm going to go get some tea for Sierra and I after we get McKinnon situated. And McKinnon's going to go to bed. Good morning, everyone. Day two of traveling home. McKinnon has taken both her shoes off. <laughs> she took one off and set it up there. Hi, hi, hi. And took the other one off and put it over here. <laughs> You're so silly. You wanna see yourself? How long do we have of traveling today? Like about 10 hours. No, we don't. <laughs> Six and a half, seven, give or take. Sounds good, it's a lot better than 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come here, I'll give you a hug. Oh, I love you. <laughs> She's like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> we gotta get everything packed in the car. And then we are going to be headed out on the road. We had a good breakfast down in the hotel lobby. So we are set and ready to go. Oh my gosh, y'all. We're two hours away. So obviously we haven't vlogged in a long time because we're two hours away. And it's only five, y'all, like five, 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 ten, five. yeah, <laughs> um, so we're not going to be getting home, like, super late, which is amazing. Took home after the sun sets, but we told plenty of time. Yeah. By the way, guess what the temperature outside is? What? 77. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> That's why I was like, can you cool it off? <laughs> woke up at one point and I was like starting to feel like really hot and I was like can you cool it off back here because <laughs> we had been in like cold weather and all of a sudden I was feeling like really hot <laughs> we're home <laughs> I'm so excited to finally be home I'm sad to not be in cold weather anymore but I'm excited to see our Christmas tree. That makes me really happy and our Christmas lights. And now I'm in here about to start getting McKinnon's stuff put away and unpacked. And McKinnon is un is un is un is playing. Are you upset because you sat down on that box? 
Okay, well, it's out of your way now. Crazy girl. Okay, so she is playing. I'm gonna get stuff put away. Matthew is getting the living room set to where we can put her playpen back up because we took it with us and didn't even use it because she just ran around Matthew's parents' house most of the time. So we didn't even use her playpen. Yeah, so we know next time we're not gonna need it. Well, next time we won't be needing it anyway because she'll be at an age where she doesn't need a playpen. Anyway, I'm gonna get stuff unpacked and McKinnon's super happy to see all her toys. <laughs>